Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. For those of you who are new here, hello, welcome. Today I am super excited as always because Odin's Eye has another launch for us and every time Odin's Eye comes out with something new, I am honestly so excited to see what they can come out with because I am a super fan of their formulas, especially their shimmers because I'm obsessed with the shimmery, glittery, multi chromes, duochromeness, they're just stunning. So if you haven't purchased from Odin's Eye, I highly suggest you check around their website because they are to this day one of my favorite brands and this, I kid you not, it just feels like their shimmer formulas just get better and better and I don't know how they're doing it, but they are. So these were sent to me in PR and I am so grateful to get PR because again, I am obsessed with Odin's Eye. So this one's a fun theme. We have jewels and gem palette, which is like based off of like different gems. And then we have the stone and rock palette. And I was so excited for these color stories because look at them. Here is the jewels and gem palette. It is a little bit more purpley, but it's not just a straight up purple palette. You do have some blues. You even have some flecks of almost green in there. So I feel like this is a very a versatile palette. Now I know it looks crazy with these like deep blues and stuff. And my eye look I came up with on the side is on the darker side, but I've been using this. Odin's Eye sends us these palettes about a month before they launch. So I've been playing with them. First I take my photos and then swap and then once I done I finish my swatches I allow myself to use it daily and I've been using this I, I feel like I've used it about three times before this and the look that I really enjoyed doing was just a light touch of the brown and the more reddish tone color throwing this in the center this like shimmery white color is almost like that Fenty diamond bomb or whatever it's called I'm obsessed like the duochromes in this are gorgeous today I wanted to play with some other colors I hadn't played with before and that's what I did on this eye but I am going to show you guys the swatches over here that I did these were done in sunlight I feel like the only one that doesn't look rhapsody this one is like this duochrome that shifts it looks so dark in the swatch and I don't know why because I feel like it is kind of a I don't feel like it's super deep but I feel like in the swatch it for some reason the sun was just like picking it up to be so dark but I usually use this in the center for like my shimmer shade and I am obsessed with the shade I mean they're beautiful they're beautiful you can use your finger you can even use a flat brush no matter what I use it's turned out really well especially those formulas some of the shimmers are more like metallics I feel like in this one there's kind of less of those shades there's a few of them they have some shimmer shades that almost like the more you rub them they're like metallics the more like creamy they get and those ones aren't my favorite formula but they still perform really well and there's no denying that they're like good they're just not my favorite ones. I really love the ones that are soft and creamy but don't necessarily rub down to a cream because I really like them sparkly and I feel like the ones that rub down to a cream aren't quite as sparkly and I just love the sparkle. So that is Jewels and Gem palette and again, I think this is my favorite. I'm just gonna say it. I think this one is my favorite palette because just I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. But I know a lot of you are gonna really love this next one and this one is called the Stone and Rock palette and this is your more greens and golds but then you also have these like these like grungy greens and almost like turquoise type greens in this palette. This shade originally threw me off until I played with it more and I realized oh this is like switching from lime green to like a teal. Do you see that? So I did play with it more. It switches to like a blue purple. This might be the multi-chrome because this it switches to a lot of different shades. So that one is really, really gorgeous. It almost reminds me of one of the Danessa Murex shades from the Lightworks palette. Same with the shimmer shade that reminds me of the Fenty Diamond Bomb shade in the purple palette. There's also a Danessa Murex shadow like that in that. I love this one and that is a beautiful shade as well. Performed so well. It does kind of go down to a cream but it's still really intense. I kind of almost covered up with some of my other shades but look how shiny she is. She's gorgeous. I really love this shade here. It's kind of like a minty 
toppery shade. I love those like topper type really sparkly shades and I love these greens so much. This gold is like one of those metallics that goes really intense and it's like this bronze brown but has purple reflect in it so you like will think that a shade just looks like a normal shade you've seen before and then you look closer and you realize no, no there is a hint of uniqueness there. That is another reason why I love Odin's eye so much is it's so surprising especially after you swatch it. You don't really know what you're going to get until you use it, swatch it because in pain and let me tell you, it's like a surprise. But here are those swatches. The only one I did not like swatching was the black. I felt like it was a little bit patchy, but I feel like when I use it on the eye, it'll probably be fine. I should have used it for this tutorial to check it out. This one I've used less because it took me longer to get the swatches done. So I only used it one time today and I did this really like easy going greenish look that I wore out today and it wasn't like intense like this. I used Passion and it's this gorgeous green gold reflective one that looks so high-end and sparkly it just ugh, a lot of these just make your lids look wet they're that kind of shimmer that I absolutely adore and drool over and so wound over this is the eye look that I came up with today and again I think this is a gorgeous palette as well but I do think the purple is my favorite because color story wise but this you could do so many fun things as well get into the tutorial I am gonna do the first tutorial using the purple palette I'm gonna do one on each eye this one is the jewels and gem palette and probably my favorite just because of the purpley tones beautiful I don't know what we're going to start off with let's just go from the lightest one which is ecstasy it's really like a pastel type of lavender as you can see these do have a lot of powder kick back on the matte formulas so you do want to start off with less especially the more pigmented ones with the lighter shades like this one it's not really a big deal I also did not do my foundation before because I don't want it all over my face we're not gonna do that I did prime my eyes with MAC painterly paint pots just what I had sitting around I've already dived into this palette quite a bit I do want to try different shades than I have before I've already used all my favorite shades and I love so many of these. We're going to go into Heaven, which is kind of like the next taupey type purple shade. And again, you will see there's a lot of powder kickback. So these aren't necessarily the most beginner user friendly eyeshadows, especially mattes because they are so pigmented and a little bit powdery. Take the smallest amount if you're going for a very light daytime look. Take the smallest amount and slowly build that is going to be your best bet so that you don't overdo it too easily because these are very 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 pigmented we're going to go ahead and go into this really deep deep dark purple almost black shade call intoxication we're going to apply that to the outer edges I with this formula liked to pat and then blend that is what I personally like to do Really want to test out this purple because I haven't in an eye look yet. I've tested out all the other shimmers and loved them. This is my favorite right here. But today I really want to focus on this one. It is this deepened purple shade. And I just want to see how it works. It's a little bit easier to crumble. So we'll see. I don't have glitter glue or anything. This isn't a wet brush. I just really want to see what it looks like on. I've swatched them but have not tried this one on. And I think it looks so pretty. And I just... I want to see it, especially for the purple palette. You know, I feel like you need to try out more purples for the purple palette, right? Type of base. I can't tell if it's really like a deep blue base or if it's black. Try and intensify that just a little bit. I guess we'll take some of Rhapsody, which I already know is gorgeous. It is my favorite to pair with like the purples and the reddish tone purples. It is kind of like this blue to green type of shade. And we're just going to kind of pop it in the center. These shimmers and these palettes do not disappoint. I feel like Odin's eye shimmers never disappoint. They're always so pretty and I can't get over it. Under the eye, I'm actually going to go in with Transition, which is this kind of teal muted clay blue color. I don't know if that's right. I think it's like a blue teal type color and it's called Transition, which it probably would be a good transition with the deep blue color in this palette. I'm going to take Gorgeousness on top of that, which is kind of like this murky green blue is the best way I know how to describe it 
Again, none of these are wet. None of these are on top of glitter glue. Sometimes when you put the shimmers on top of a mat, you want to use something wet or sticky so it shows up better. Otherwise, it might have a hard time staying on top of the mat because the mat's a little bit more slippery. So beautiful. You could create like this murky uh, teal type of eye look with this palette. For the inner corner, I'm tempted to just take this, but honestly, it's just like this white shimmer. It reminds me of that Fenty... Uh, bomb highlighter diamond bomb I think it's called or I want to take the kind of multi-chrome in this it goes from purple to light green let's do the multi-chrome just because you know it's a tutorial for you know for funsies let's just I'm not going anywhere let's see if it can tie this together um so I think it would have looked better with the other one but that's okay because we're just testing this out <laughs> Um, so we are going to finish, we're going to do, use the green palette now and then finish it all up, but I have no complaints in this palette. I love it all. I especially love this shade so much that I used on top of the purple. All the shimmers in this, phenomenal. I have no complaints really about the mattes either, other than you just have to be careful because some of them can cause fallout because they are powdery, but they're so buildable and so blendable, so... <sighs> Onto the green palette. This one is called Stone and Rock Palette, and this one is the more green toned one. Love it. So I've only used this once and I used it today. So I really want to play with some of the deeper shades. I used it for like an, a daytime look. So I really want to mess with some of the darker shades right now. If you guys want to see me do another video where I kind of show you how I've used these for like more daytime wearable looks, I can definitely do that. Because this is me more testing, like trying to show you the colors and what they look like together. And if you want to create these looks, obviously go ahead. But honestly, the way I wear them I do try to tone them down just a little bit but the shimmers are so gorgeous I love them so much we are going to start with madness which is this vibrant it's like a vibrant mossy green almost and I don't know, it's just pretty you definitely could create a wonderful grungy look I don't think that's what we're gonna do today though because I do want to kind of play with some of the other shades but you could could create a very grungy grungy look I have compared on my own time some of these shades to like from the Christmas palette or from uh, the Fauna palette. So if you guys want to see like a comparison to one maybe, you thought it might be good. We're going to go into Exuberance and we're going to kind of just stick with the same shape that we did on the other side. Nothing crazy, just so we can again test out the colors. Uh, these ones seem to be a little less powdery I'm noticing too. Unless that's in my mind. Then we're going into Dreamland. This one's a very gray... I bet that one is powdery though. So the darker you kind of go, kind of the powdery they get. Powderier they get. So just be aware and be careful. Uh, since we use that kind of deep purple, I kind of want to use this deep green. Now it looks very vibrant and bright here but if you turn it, it kind of does shift to a darker teal so I want to play with that shade and it is kind of like the ones that kind of go more creamy if you bought any of the multi chromes that's kind of oh my gosh uh, it is like glowing it is glowing do you see this excuse me girl who do you think you are um hello bright poppin miss high end like a lot of these shimmers remind me of high end and when i say high end i mean like the denisa merrick type of shifty beautiful high end and then we're gonna take passion which is one of my favorite greens in this one it does have like such a bright golden shift to it i wore it today and it just looks so wet on the lid it's so beautiful and we're gonna use that one to pop in the center although for this look i don't think it's really popping it that much in the center like i would like it to so we might have to go into cheerfulness which is a gorgeous green as well this one has more of a silver reflex so i think it'll just pop more than that gold to give a little more dimension that I'm looking for. Is it doing it? I don't know. Anyway, it's still beautiful. For the inner corner, I'm going to stick Frenzy in, which I love. It's like this minty, light green, toppery shade, and I just love it. For the under eye, I think we're going to go into Cheer, which is this 
almost evergreen and that's much deeper than I thought it would be. I guess we'll go into lightheartedness which is pretty. It is kind of this bronze with some purple sparkle in it. This one's almost a little bit creamier as well. This one's like a metallic. Normally I like to do this with topper shades down here. <laughs> what was I thinking? I should have just reused one of the topper shades we used. Okay let's go ahead finish my makeup and I'll come back. So I'm gonna show a video of the different types of jewelry that are launching as well. There are a few different necklaces, you have some bracelets, you have earrings, you have one that is like a silver, like this one is like all based on silver, and this one also has a different pair of earrings as well. I showcase them all in this video. And then you also have like this little pearl cute heart necklace, which I actually have worn out a lot and then you have this one here which totally brings me back to the 90s and I love it some really cute jewelry pieces as well I thought that was really neat to see too and surprising so let me know what you think about the jewelry let me know what you think about these palettes are you excited for this or do you think it's boring I personally love it because I cannot get enough of these shimmers they are doing such a great job with the shimmers their their matte formula is so intense easy to build it is not beginner friendly though because you really want to take a tiny bit and then just blend it out you don't want to like get a bunch without tapping it off you probably want to do it before you do your foundation it gets a little messy but they're still very good and but the shimmers I can't say enough good things about they are high-end luxurious gorgeous you will not you will not be disappointed. So let me know what you guys plan on picking up and thank you so much for watching. Bye.